But because there's no multiplayer in Magic Arena, this is kind of the best next thing that there is in Magic Arena. So, the concept of Magic Arena... I don't know, actually, how much do you guys even play TCGs? I mean, obviously, Mech plays Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know how much you guys are aware of TCGs. What am I dealing with? The Squirrel. Oh man, Retribution is really good against the Squirrel. And I do have the way to gain life, as well as a way to search for life. Uh, who's first? Opponent goes first. That's not good. Opponent going first is bad for me. Especially because of his deck. I'll keep. So, in Magic, there is a creature type, which is called a legendary creature. You can think of them like the heroes of the game. Oh, that's a very good draw, actually. That's a very good draw. Uh, why do I rather do the land? Probably would do the land, so we're going to lose free life here. So do that. Get that. To life, play this. So in Magic, there is a creature. There's a type of creature which is well, it's not just creature, but a type of permanent called Legendary. And basically, Legendary, think of them like heroes or like very special people. You know, you have you have here the common Ranger Captain of whatever. No one cares about who he is. And then you got a Malia here who actually has a name. Right, that's basically what it is. Legendary creatures have names. They are important people in the story or in the lore. Uh, so he did that. We're going to play this. I could play this. And the next turn, what? I play Amalia into Retribution. I guess that could be the turn. I don't need to reveal I have Retribution yet. Alternatively, I can play Amalia. Get the hit in already. Uh, and then what next? And I play a ranger into retribution. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Amalia first. Okay. Yeah, that's a perfect draw, actually. Um, and essentially, brawl or commander. Is a game mode, a format in Magic the Gathering where uh, you choose a legendary creature. So in my case, I, I have a Malia here. And essentially, you build a deck of singleton cards. So you can only have one of each type, of each kind. You cannot have multiples of the same card. And uh, you build a, a deck around them. They can, you can only have the same colors as your commander. So my. Amalia here is a white and a red, uh, not a red, a white and a black creature. So you can only have black and white cards in your in this deck. In his case, he has a. Hold on, let me play my turn. Uh, let me play here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, let me do this. Oh, that's a very good card, but I cannot have it in my. I need lands. Uh, I can attack with this. I'd rather have the guy there, so we're just gonna do it like this for now. Uh, so I can only have bl uh, black and white cards in my deck, and basically the goal is to build a deck around it and to just, you know, have a thematic... a theme to your deck. Now, the theme of my deck is to gain life. I have many ways to gain life because my commander says that whenever I gain life, uh, it explores. Explores is you reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land, you put it into your hand. And if it's not a land, you put you may put it into your graveyard. So here's how that works. I will play Captain of the Rangers. It will enter the battlefield. Because I have these two, the, I will gain one life for each. Before that, though, I'll search a one drop. From my deck, I will search for Soul Warden. And I gain one life, triggers, and I'm gonna choose to put this into the graveyard, because I'm looking for lands right now. So that goes away, trigger again, and we get a land. Because I reveal the land, goes to my hand, and I get to play the card 
that I just searched. And I get to do it again. Choose, go to the graveyard, because at ri right now, all I want is lands. And now, I attack with everything. Because I want this land to, to flip, because this land... If I attack with three or more, cre not land, this enchantment, when I attack with three or more creatures, it transforms into this land. So I want to attack with three creatures so that it transforms, and now I have an extra land that uh, can make me tokens, but more importantly, it just makes, a, it's just an extra land, and uh, this deck is very mana hungry. Despite the fact that everything is very cheap. But that's because I'm always trying to play like three or four cards per turn. So the theme of the deck is to gain life. I play with a lot of cards that are basically whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you gain one life. So that whenever something enters the battlefield, Amalia triggers. Now the second ability she has is that she Aldred. Now oh, that's a card. The second ability that she has is that... Whenever she gets to eight, uh, 20 power, she basically blows up the board and kills every creature. The enemy needs a one spell for turn. Kind of shenanigans. Yes. She plays She Aldred, which is a very powerful card, but does not work that well against me. A lot of people think it's very powerful against me, but it's actually really bad. Because it doesn't do anything. Mana Confluence is a fine card. So, I think here I'll just play the dragon. Fetch. I probably should also play this. Actually, I could just play... Oh, you know what? I'll play this one. Yeah, take one. Get the triggers. I can go... Yeah, draw that. That could go. And I believe I can play all of this, right? It's not an Elish Norm, true. I'm pretty sure I have enough, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm missing one black. Fuck. Oh, that sucks. I'm actually missing a black mana. I can't do it. Okay. I'll do this one then. I can do it next turn. So, what the goal of the deck is to... The, what the get, deck is trying to do is, I'm trying to gain life. I'm trying to mill... I'm trying to get this card to get big. But more importantly, I'm trying to fill my deck, my graveyard, with a bunch of creatures. So that I can then play one of three cards that I have in the deck. Which is like this, where I basically play pay X, and I bring everything that has X or less cost from the graveyard to the battlefield. And it's a very powerful effect. Essentially, I just kill the opponent through a ridiculous amount of triggers firing off when everything enters the battlefield. Which is what I'm trying to do. Say. So... I am missing a black mana, so we're gonna play the mount, the swamp here. Mm-hmm. Yes. That goes there. Do I have a blood artist effect? I have one, and I have wisp. So this should be lethal here. No, no, because I can't sack my board. And I'm pretty sure this, what I have in the board, is not enough. Actually, no, it should be enough. So I'll play the Swamp. I've played the Dragon. Yes. This should be lethal. What I have here. So I'll fetch... Uh, Rally. So the Dragon basically lets me fetch whatever card I want from my deck. Uh, which is what I did, and they don't know what I fetched, and also gives it Convoke. Convoke is a mechanic in Magic where you can tap creatures to basically replace for mana. So, uh, 
this spell costs two and X, which means I can tap X amount of creatures to reduce the cost, meaning that I can basically tap my creatures to pay uh, to play the card. And we are going to be doing that because I think that most expensive I have here is three cost. Yeah, no, four cost. So I need to tap two and then four. We have. We can tap up to five. I think my opponent rage quit. <laughs> I think my opponent has left the game. They are no longer here. And they are not happy with uh, having to deal with this kind of uh, board. To be, f to be fair, you might be wondering what the opponent's deck does. The opponent deck is a little bit of a weird one. There is infinite combos with this deck that he can that they can do. Uh, but more importantly, what they are generally, what this deck is trying to do is they're trying to just make an army of token, an army of squirrels, and then just kill your stuff with those squirrels through his ability, or just run you over with like a billion squirrels, because you know, squirrel army. Luckily, their deck is just not very good against mine, because mine has... My deck deals really well with creature matchups. It's control matchups that are like the nightmare for me. Where's the rope, man? Hello? Okay, never mind. I won. I don't know what happened, but I won. I think the opponent rage quitted and the game bugged and didn't give me the victory. Or, like, didn't register that the, the opponent left. Something along those lines. But I won, because I got the victory. They uh, revealed a card that suggests multiplayer. Uh, hopefully it is Commander. And I do feel like if Arena adds Commander, it is going to grow a lot more in popularity. So hopefully that does happen. That way I can play with LDP online and yell at him. <laughs> uh... Oh, this hand is not good. I go first versus Sedisi. I need... Uh... Uh, this is not bad. Do I really want to send that to the bottom, though? I need to shuffle it to get it back. I don't have a good way to shuffle. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be fun. No, no, it would be fun. Then we get, uh, you know, the other one, and we all play together. Hopefully it allows for up to f it allows to three people and not just four. But we can always find a fourth person through online stuff, and then we can all, like all be talking in Discord while we're playing. That would be really cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to send this zombie. I I can't send this card away. It's too. I don't have a way to shuffle the deck to get it back if I set it to the bottom. I mean I have it in the deck, but I don't have it in my hand right now. Ooh, a Johnny's welcome's really good though, but we're gonna curve out here. Uh, we do not want that. And we have what the fuck is this? When it enters mill four, dies, return target land from a graveyard to your hand. Okay. Flashback. Create zombies. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Wait. First, let's start with this. Oh my. <laughs> this this turn is going to be a little bananas. Don't mind me, just, uh, just doing uh, Soul Sister stuff. Thank you for five. I guess it gets back to the land, so it's like a pseudo guarantee land. Doesn't really guarantee a land, though. You could miss. The fuck? <laughs> I 
Well, that was easy. Yeah, that start was very strong, especially if he doesn't have a Wrath. I flooded in the third game, not the third game, I, in the third one I lost, I flooded, and in the second one, I, I was screwed for way too long, and I got, and it, the opponent just ran the game. But the third, but the second time I tried to do the draft was just, I was playing against every decks that were completely insane. Anyway, though, this is not a bad start, but also not an amazing start. Now, we're the only one opponent that's going to draw a lot of cards. Whenever you draw a card, target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Vigilance. Did it always have Vigilance? I don't remember this having Vigilance. I guess that's the alchemy symbol. Why it has this alchemy symbol? Uh, we don't have mana, so we're gonna send that away. Plus, we have rally in our hand, so we just wanna. Okay, well, uh, let's play this. Send that. Yes, yeah, send it away. This is not an angel, it's a vampire, but it kind of works. And uh, attack. Yeah, this has unblockable because. Uh... Oh, just using for protection. Oh, is it a wrath? <laughs> Fucking knew it. I was the only thing that made sense. Yeah, it's fine. We could just play our commander again. Uh, we'll play this, play commander, go. Uh, I don't think it will be able to use that card too well against him because I'm pretty sure this is a control deck. So right now the issue is I need a sack outlet. Otherwise I'll do rally and then I'll lose my entire board. Okay, that's good for me. It's a slow turn. There's a lot of lands right now though. Attack for four. <sighs> I just bring these back for the ability. Just to trigger this a billion times. If he taps out, I'll do it. Oh, he's gonna exile my shit. Damn it. Annoying. Anyone who but I can kill it back, so it's fine. Contend with me. And he has to pay three life, so... My judgment is fine. So we will start by attacking that and killing it. Okay. Well, swords will cross again. Do you have wash away? You do not. Okay, that's good for me. Damn it, it did not get a counter. Now if he rafts the board, I just lose it. Was really hoping for him to, to get a counter so I can protect it with this one. Oh no. Is this gonna be the combo? Is he just gonna drop the enchantment next and I'm dead? I think we just have to go for it here. How many can I do? Four. How many are there? 
What's the highest cost for? So with Delne, I get two triggers per each of these. And this one. Actually, we might have lethal here. I'll do this first, though. Crack this. Oh, but he's going to gain a bunch of life, so it might not be lethal. Uh, but no, we have that. No, it should still be lethal. I will find this, though, first. So that I can... Mill. Okay, well, let's see if it's lethal. Let's find out. Oh, wait. Can I... I could have sacked this for an extra damage. Let's find out if this is lethal. Resolve all. Yeah. I think... The only way it's lethal if is I can attack. So I just have to leave that on the board and hope for an explosion here. Yeah, yeah, this is lethal. Unless he has a source of plowshare, would I would then cry. I'm just gonna say good game. So that this can go faster. Okay, now that I have enough to kill, I'm just gonna stop milling in case he has a source of plowshare. Yeah, I do need to do this fast. Actually, he might just be dead to triggers. No, no, he shouldn't be dead to triggers. I, do, I, need, I still need to attack him to kill. He's not quitting, which makes me think he has a source of plowshare. Go, 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 go! I still have two ropes to go for, so it's fine, but... Oh my god, he's gonna have a source of plowshare, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh man. Ugh. And here I was expecting uh the source of plowshare, but there was not luckily. How great is this deck? This is a deck I'm familiar with. So I have a way to gain life with this. Opponent goes first again. I want a better hand. Is this a better hand? I can fetch with this. Play both of them. I, I guess it's fine. It's not amazing. The problem is he goes first. Oh, wait. Hold on. We have a curve. Pay two. So far, so good. We go Bastion next. It will begin soon. Bastion next. Minister here. Uh, we need that. And do I attack here? It will cost him six, which... You know what? Nah, I will attack. Fuck you. Yeah, that's right. You're not gonna block. Your commander would cost six, while mine would only cost two.
Yay! But now he gets double the lands, cause that's okay. Oh my god, I already know how this is gonna go. This is gonna be Ulamog nonsense eventually. Oh god, I feel the ruin. At least it got tapped. Okay then. Uh, this is not looking very good for me. So let's start by playing this into this. More lands. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing a pattern here. More lands. Hmm. Well, at least I'm gonna get to the lands to Bolas Citadel. I'm not sure I'm gonna have the life for it though. I guess I can play Pitiless Plunderer in this next turn. Kind of set up a, a good turn, but this is not looking very good right now. Okay, that, that's actually a slow turn for him. He has 10 lands, though, so he can already play an Ulamog. He's going to blow up my land. No. What is he doing? Oh, God. Power surges through these lands. Vari clicks. Oh god. Here we go. <sighs> mm-hmm. I think he's one off from doing this, but I can't doesn't this untap? Untap it, yeah. Primal Command. Search for a creature, then reveal it. Hmm, I wonder what it's gonna be. Wow, who that funk it that we were gonna be an Ulamog. I totally didn't see that one coming. Rise, my elemental friend. Totally did not see that one coming. Hold on. Can I win through here? No, because I don't have Pitless Plunder in the in the board. I should have played this last time. Then I could have done Yogg and would have done gen degenerate things. So if I play Yogmoth, Yogmoth will be a target. Which means something else is not a target. And then I can try and do Bola Citadel and hope for the best. This is not looking very good. I mean, I've drawn so many lands. What are the chances that I'm gonna have a lot of lands to, like, in a row? Probably a lot, actually. Motherfucker, man. Okay, so you're gonna lose the land. Well, here comes Ulamog. I see what he targets. Sure. Yogmoth. I'm most likely, and the commander. Yeah. Let's start with paying three life, motherfucker. Okay, well, let's, uh. Let's put a minus counter there and sack this. Decline. Stay it in the graveyard, please. I probably should have done these ones first. I want to draw more cards. Yes. I'm gonna draw as many as I can here, since I'm not gonna die anyway. Teshar is a good one. I 
I should have done this with a commander in, ha in, the, in the here. I was very stupid here. I'm just not used to dealing with Anola Mog. Is it worth sending that to the graveyard? I don't have any way to bring it back. But we will. This turn could have been a lot better. If I had done this before sacking my commander. Yeah. Uh-huh. Be wary of the ground to walk on. Yeah, I played that badly. I played that very badly. Could have milled a lot of these cards, could have just automatically drawn them. Instead... Uh, I guess Ashaya? Sure. So I don't have any way to do this aside from just hoping from the best from Bolas Citadel. Well, let's hope. Wait, hold on. I will be at one if I do this. But whatever I do here, I can do with Convoke. Hold on, did I just win? Oh my god, I might have just won. I might have just won. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I have so many... I have so many tokens in my hand. So many... Hold on. I actually might have won here. Just discard everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, oh my god, hold on. Hold on. I might have actually won here. Then I can play this. I'm at one. Okay, I can't go any further. But I'm pretty sure I won here. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually won this. So I can do five. <laughs> Good game. You tried. Oh my god, what? And you're dead. <laughs> oh my god, man. That is insane. That's actually insane that that worked. One, two, three, four, oh wait, no, not four yet. Four, five, uh.